Welcome to Aeronet's Visual Simulation Training Program for the Airbus A320. The Auxiliary Power Unit, or APU, is a self-contained unit located in the tail cone of the aircraft, which makes the aircraft independent of external pneumatic and electrical power supply. It provides electrical power to the electrical system, both on the ground and in flight. It also provides bleed air for air conditioning and engine start. Touch the APU for a close-up. On the ground, the APU provides bleed air for starting engines and for the air conditioning system. It also provides electrical power to the electrical system. During takeoff, the APU may be used to supply bleed air for air conditioning when optimum aircraft performance is required. In flight, the APU provides backup power for the electrical system and bleed air for air conditioning. The APU can also be used for engine starting in flight. The APU control switches are found on the overhead APU panel, the ECAM control panel, the air conditioning panel, and the overhead fire panel. Additional control switches can be found on the external interphone panel. Touch each highlighted area or touch the right arrow to continue. The APU master push-button switch controls electrical power supply for APU operation and fault protection and controls the start and shutdown sequences. It is located at the center of the APU panel. Push the APU master push-button switch. The APU start push-button switch initiates the APU start procedure. It is located on the APU panel under the APU master push button switch. Touch the APU start push button switch. When the APU master switch is depressed, the ECAM APU page is automatically displayed. If ground power or main generator power is connected to the aircraft and will remain displayed throughout the start sequence. It will disappear 15 seconds after the start cycle is complete. The ECAM APU display page can also be called up by pressing the APU button on the ECAM control panel located on the pedestal. The APU generator switch is located on the electrical panel. The APU generator supplies power to the electrical system when needed. The switch is normally left in the on, light off position. Touch the APU generator push button switch. The APU bleed air push button switch is located on the air conditioning panel. It controls the operation of the APU bleed valve. Touch the APU bleed air push button switch to continue. The APU fire protection related switches are located on the overhead fire panel. Touch the APU fire push button switch to continue. Pressing the APU shut off push button on the external interphone panel confirms APU shutdown and silences the external warning horn in the event of an APU fire. Push the APU shut off push button to continue.
The APU engine is a single shaft gas turbine that drives its electrical generator and produces bleed air for engine starting and pneumatic supply. The air intake flap is located in the bottom of the tail cone. It opens electrically when the APU master switch is placed to the on position and ducts external air to the compressor inlet. The status of the flap is displayed on the ECAM APU page. The exhaust duct is located at the end of the tail cone. The required fuel pressure is normally available from the left side tank pumps. However, if pressure is not available, the APU fuel pump will start automatically. The APU fuel supply is shut off if the APU master push button switch is selected off, the APU fire push button switch is pushed, the APU shut off push button on the interphone panel has been pushed, or there is an automatic shutdown on the ground. The APU uses an integral independent lubrication system for lubrication and cooling. The APU air bleed system provides bleed air from the APU for engine start, air conditioning, and pressurization. It has priority over engine bleed and is fully automatic. When the APU bleed push button switch is placed on, the APU bleed valve opens. The pneumatic system cross bleed valve, if in the auto position, opens, and the engine bleed valves close. Bleed air from the APU then supplies the pneumatic system. Touch the APU bleed push button switch. The electronic control box, or ECB, controls and monitors all modes of APU operation, such as start, speed and temperature, bleed air, normal shutdown, and automatic shutdown. The electronic control box, or ECB, determines APU speed in accordance with the air bleed system demand and whether the aircraft is in flight or on the ground. The ECAM APU page is automatically displayed when the APU master push button switch is pressed while the aircraft is powered by an engine or an external power source and remains displayed for approximately 15 seconds after the start cycle is complete. Normal indications are displayed in green. Advisory and warning indications are displayed in amber and red. The avail indication is displayed in green when the APU end speed is above 95%. The avail light also illuminates on the APU start push button switch. The APU bleed valve position is shown on the upper right ECAM APU page. When the APU bleed push button switch is placed on, a vertical line is displayed with an arrow, indicating the valve is open and supplying the pneumatic system. Touch the APU bleed switch to continue. A cross line indicates the valve is fully closed. Below the APU bleed valve indication is the relative APU bleed air pressure indication displayed in green. Amber X's replace the bleed air pressure reading when the ADERS 2 is not available or is selected off. The white box in the upper left corner displays the APU generator load, voltage, and frequency. They are identical to the APU generator parameters on the ECAM electrical page and are further explained in the electrical module. 
The small arrow above the APU generator indication box is displayed when the APU generator line is closed. The APU rotational speed is displayed in green when indications are normal. The analog and digital indicators become amber when APU end speed reaches 102% and red when APU end speed reaches 107%. Automatic shutdown begins. The APU EGT indication is displayed in green when the EGT is in the normal operating range. The APU EGT indication is displayed in amber when the EGT has reached the cautionary range and red when the EGT has reached EGT max. EGT max varies and is calculated by the ECB as a function of rotational speed during start and ambient temperature when the APU is running. The amber warning message, fuel low pressure, is displayed when low APU fuel pressure is detected. The flap open indication is displayed in green when the APU air intake flap fully opens with the APU master switch pushed on. The low oil level advisory is displayed if the ECB detects a low APU oil level while the aircraft is on the ground and when the APU is not running. APU operation is allowed for a further 60 hours. The APU can provide electrical power for the entire flight envelope up to 39,000 feet. Ground operation is available up to 8,000 feet. Bleed air extraction for two air conditioning packs is allowed up to 15,000 feet and for one pack up to 20,000 feet. The APU battery restart limit is 25,000 feet. There is a maximum one minute cooling interval required between start cycles. After three start cycles, a 60-minute cooling period must be allowed for cooling before any further start attempts. The maximum end limit is 107 percent. Automatic shutdown begins. The maximum operating EGT for the APU is 725 degrees. The maximum starting EGT is 1,038 degrees. Air bleed extraction for wing anti-ice is not permitted. To start the APU with external power, push the external power switch to its on position. The on light illuminates. Next, push the APU master switch to its on position. The ECAM APU page automatically displays. The flap open message appears after a few seconds. Push the APU start push button switch to start the APU. The on light illuminates on the APU start switch. At the completion of APU start, a veil appears on the ECAM page. On extinguishes and a veil illuminates on the APU start switch. After 15 seconds, the ECAM APU page will be replaced by the door page. The external power may be kept on to reduce APU load, especially in hot conditions. Switch over to APU electrics by selecting external power off no later than 10 minutes prior to departure. Touch the external power switch.
The procedure for APU start with battery power only is essentially the same as for APU start with external power, except there is no ECAM APU page available. Ensure the BAT 1 and 2 push button switches are in auto. The start will be inhibited for 45 seconds following the selection of the battery switches to auto and after the loss of AC power. Push the APU master switch to continue. On is illuminated on the APU master switch. Now, push the APU start switch to its on position. On is illuminated on the APU start switch. At the completion of APU start, the on light extinguishes and a veil illuminates on the APU start switch. 10 seconds later, the APU generator comes online and the ECAM APU page appears, which will be replaced by the door page momentarily. Normal APU shutdown is controlled by the APU master push button switch. Touch the APU master push button switch. The on light extinguishes. The avail light extinguishes on the APU start switch once the end speed drops below 95%. The APU continues to run at 75% for a cooling period of one to two minutes if the aircraft is using APU bleed air. Wait until the flap open light extinguishes before switching off the batteries. APU automatic shutdown may occur under various non-normal conditions, such as low oil pressure, overspeed, or ECB failure. As long as AC power is connected to the aircraft, a single chime sounds, the master caution lights illuminate, and the fault light on the APU master switch illuminates. The ECAM message, APU auto shutdown, is displayed on the upper ECAM. APU emergency shutdown occurs when the APU shutoff push button on the interphone panel or the APU fire push button switch on the overhead panel is pressed. A single chime sounds, the APU master switch fault light and master caution lights illuminate. The ECAM message, APU emergency shutdown, is also displayed on the upper ECAM unless the battery is the only power source available. In this case, the cockpit goes dark. Note, APU shutdown due to fire is covered in the fire protection module.